Welcome to Science in the Making. In 1665, the Royal Society printed the first issue of its trailblazing philosophical transactions. Over the centuries, this journal and others that followed it have presented papers by some of the most important names in science, such as Isaac Newton, Dorothy Crowfoot Hodgkin, and Chandrasekhar Venkataraman. If you visit the Royal Society in London, you'll see shelf upon shelf of bound editions of our journals. But the papers published within those volumes are just the tip of the iceberg. What about all the original notes, data, illustrations and manuscript letters, not to mention the confidential peer reviews which lie behind the finished pages, or the papers which were submitted but rejected? Consider this paper from December 1858. Two years earlier, astronomers Charles and Jessica Piazzi-Smith climbed to the top of a volcano in Tenerife to test Newton's theory that observations of the night sky are best done on high mountains above the clouds. Their results were submitted to the Royal Society along with stereoscopic photographs and stunning illustrations to record how they did it. The paper was reviewed by some of the foremost scientists of the time, including Sir John Herschel, who named seven moons of Saturn and four of Uranus. Charles Darwin also approved the paper for publication in the Philosophical Transactions. With our new platform, Science in the Making, you can delve beneath the surface. Jump back in time to find other monumental leaps forward in human understanding. From Newton's letters to Henry Oldenburg discussing telescope designs, to Caroline Herschel's patient observations of her heavenly comets. The electrical researchers of Benjamin Franklin and Michael Faraday are here, as are Fox Talbot's photographic inventions and Franz Bauer's beautiful illustrations of a wide range of scientific observations. Explore more than 250,000 images and counting. Or search for individual observations from any branch of science. Science in the Making is a novel way to explore our collections, make dynamic connections between authors' manuscripts and their printed counterparts to show how science was really done. We've shared a few of our stories. Now it's over to you to find yours.